guys! Welcome back to my channel! So, meron na nung po tayong bagong video. Ang tagal-tagal na nung last na video ko. And I think it's a... Hmm, tawag ko Parang unboxing yun at saka review na rin yung Plantronics na headset ko, which is this one. So, as you can see, um, I'm wearing my headband again. Actually, kakatapos ko lang mag -klase. I have, I think, I have 11 classes today. So, and guys, in this video is I'm going to uh, share with you what is the process or the application process as a whole of being a 5-1 talk teacher, okay? So, this video is gonna be separated into different parts. So, we will talk about first the process, okay? First is talagang yung pinakaunang gagawin is there will be a certain link kung saan yung gusto apply. Yung sa akin kasi yung case sa akin is I have a friend. Her name is Adel Jules, and she has also her own YouTube channel. That's Ada Jules. Okay, she is a Phoebe captain. So nag inquire ko sa kanya paano mag-apply and then she sent me a link. So yon. Uh, if you have a friend na merong or nagkatrabaho na sa 51 Talk, you can use their link or just simply go to 51 Talk and then just click the link, okay? Is yung unang-unang steps talaga is or not steps, step is your application form. After mo mag ng application form, then you will set a uh, schedule, okay? Yung schedule na yun is yun yung para sa interview mo na. Okay? Interview mo. Okay, so, meron dung lalabas na parang calendar. Okay? You will just set what time, what day na gusto mo. Your preferred time or day mo. Okay? Afterwards ng parang naset mo na na interview na date is um, magsisend sila ng parang message Pwede sa phone mo, tsaka sa email mo. So, yung sa akin, dalawa yung sa phone, tsaka sa email ko. Okay, now, so, how to pass the interview, okay? We will start with interview, okay? I have a guide here, okay? So, paano ko napasa yung aking mahiwagang interview sa 5 Okay, okay so, I'm using my <laughs> laptop kasi nandito yung mga sagot ko, okay? Ganito yung mangyayari sa interview niyo, guys, okay? Uh, they will instruct you to add the interviewer on your Skype account, okay? So, yung magaganap lang na interview is parang ikaw lang yung nakikita ng interviewer pero hindi mo siya nakikita, okay? It's like a phone interview, okay? Sinasabi kasi nung una daw, phone interview lang. Akala ko naman yung nung interview ko, literal na phone interview yung yung talagang number yung tatawagan mo. Pero sa Skype pala yung uh, magaganap yung interview. So, the possible questions that I've prepared is number one, okay? Siyempre, pag may interview, meron talagang tanong, can you please describe yourself? Okay. Yun, so I prepared my answer. So, uh, nag-prepare lang talaga ako ng mga sagot ko. Uh, I'm just uh, stating my name. Tapos, may kodigo ko guys. Um, sana ako nagtatrabaho. And then, ano yung nature ng trabaho ko? By the way, I, am, I have a regular job during the day. Um, Part-time teacher lang po ako sa 5 Talk. And, where did I graduate? Ano yung course ko? And then, dito ko na highlight yung parang um, pagiging unit earner ko ako. Uh, pagiging unit earner ko kasi I'm taking my second course which is uh, teacher certificate program. Uh, yun yung mga yun yung mga yun yung kulang na mga units para maging teacher talaga ako at saka para makapag-exam ako sa LET which is the licensure examination for teachers kaya dun yun hinighlight ko talaga yun sa sa sagot ko nung pag, pag tanong niya sa akin na describe yourself and then hopefully gagraduate ako this year but unfortunately talagang gagraduate naman talaga kami lahat kaya lang dahil sa you know end call walang graduation na magaganap, okay? Itigil lang lahat. Tapos, um, yung pangalawang tanong na 
parang pinaghandaan ko, tsaka lumabas talaga siya, talaga tinanong sa akin interviewer, sabi niya sa akin, um, bakit daw ako nag-apply uh, for as 5-1 job teacher? So, sinabi ko lang doon na parang I'm applying this job to earn additional income and then since I'm working naman my regular job during 8 to 5 uh, hours, 8 to 5 p.m. every day, so meron akong time paggabi and then during weekends na din. And then, tapos, sinabi ko rin na... Um, So, ginawa ko talaga siyang parang example dahil, dahil nga diba nag, ano ako, nag take ako ng TCP, which is Unit Earners for Teachers. Um, ginawa ko siyang platform na i-highlight ko talaga yung, uh, yung course ko, yung second course ko, which is sinabi ko dun, um, this will help me in, ano ba dun? Okay, this will be my training ground for my fu future profession as a teacher when I am going to be employed or deployed in an actual school setting. So, you know, is, parang may tinanong sila sa akin if meron ba akong uh, background sa pagtuturo ng mga bata. Kasi nga, yung tinuturuan po sa Five on Talk is literally mga bata talaga. And they don't really know how to speak English, literally. Kahit sabihin mong, what is your name? Kagayahan ka nilang, what is your name? Okay? So, <laughs> kaya tinalong nila yun sa akin kasi, kasi nga yung bata yung tinuturuan natin. So, yung parang sinusubukan nila if gano'n ba kataas yung patience natin. So, ang sinagot ko lang doon, I have an experience uh, in teaching kids, but not ay uh, parang hindi talaga yung parang estudyante. So, I I just answer na I do have background in teaching kids but uh, with my siblings. Yun lang sinagot ko. Tapos, uh, hinighlight ko rin doon na it, uh, ano ba yung sinabi ko doon? Teka lang. Mm, okay. So, sinabi ko pala doon is since I have a lot of siblings that Uh, were younger or tama ba? Meron ako mga kapatid na mas bata sa akin. Okay, Tagalog din na natin. Mas bata sa akin. So, feeling ko yung patience ko is hindi na talaga ganun ka kaliit, ba? Diba? Kasi nga, sinusubukan nila if kaya ba natin i-handle yung mga bata. And then, sinabi ko rin sa kanya uh, sa interviewer ko yung na yung pagtuturo din ng kapatid mo at saka yung mga sudyante mo is parehas lang because Uh, yung disadvantage lang is hindi mo sila kakilala. Pero, the sense na meron kang parang background talaga sa pagtuturo is okay yun. So, para sa akin, wag din na lang sabihin na wala kayong background. Eh, unless naman ko totoo nila ba? Totoo nila. Pero, yung, sinabi, yung sinagot ko talaga is parang, ang sinabi ko is, um, hindi naman sa wala ako experience, literally. Meron akong experience, but unfortunately sa mga kapatid ko lang. And then, meron din pala akong sinabi doon na sa, since I have my TCP course right now, teacher certificate program, yung unit earner, meron kasi kaming mga, parang, ano bang tawag doon? Mga demo na naganap, okay? So, yung pagkakaiba lang is yung mga tinuturuan namin is high school students. So, yung dito kasi sa Paibon Talk, majority talaga is mga bata. Meron din ako naturuan, I think. Meron akong high school, meron din akong matanda na, pero yung pinaka majority is mga bata. That's why, yun yung sinagot ko. Tapos, yung pang-apat na tanong sa akin is, if, if hindi ba nakikinig ang mga bata sa leksyon or sa klase mo or sa, you know, sa tinuturo mo, ano ba ang gagawin mo? So, I just answered, based on my, you know, uh, ginawang script dito. <laughs> I just answered na, I will just try to get their interest in order for them to settle down. And, of course, sinabi ko rin, I will incorporate those interests in my lesson or discussion if it is related and applicable, okay? But, without compromising the learnings that my student can get in my class. Diba? Lakas na sa kanya. 
diba? Tapos, yung ano, yung last na tanong sa akin is, saan ko raw, uh, saan ko raw nalaman na may hiring na teacher sa Paibon Talk is, ang sinabi ko is, I was searching for a uh, online job in, uh, in the internet and luckily, I saw their ads in Facebook. And also, I have a friend which is, her name is Adult Jules. Just follow her in in her YouTube channel, and she's been working there uh, or in five uh, five years na, five years na kaya naka interest na kung uh, magapply. At saka way back 2015 pa talaga ako gusto magapply kaya lang I don't have uh, the equipment yet. I don't have the laptop. I don't have the internet before. Really wala talaga before. Kaya, syempre, paano, paano ka naman mag-apply kung wala ka mga gamit, diba? So, <laughs> anyway, so, alam nyo guys, yung technique lang talaga, yung ginawa ko sa interview ko, diba nga, sabi ko kanina, um, sila lang yung nakakakita sa di ba Sa Skype. Pero hindi mo sila nakakita. Yung ginawa ko, since I'm having my interview in Skype, so I'm using my laptop when we're having our interview, I just prepared my uh, prepared answer in my laptop, okay? So, ito yung Skype, tsaka ito yung word na nilagyan ko ng mga answers ko. Para, pag nagtanong sa akin yung interview, hindi ako mag-stutter. You know, stutter? Yung a uh, ay a uh, um um yun. Um, parang kasi, yung interview kasi, napakasimple lang naman talaga. Yung hinahanap lang talaga nila is parang, if you really know how to speak English, if you really know how to uh, formulate basic questions, if you really know how to formulate basic answers, okay? So, that's it lang guys. Simple na, simple na simple. Na. Napaka simple lang talaga ng ginawa ko. They just asked me five questions and then I just prepared five questions. Okay, actually, yung pre-prepare ko talaga is seven questions. Pero yung mga tanong na lumabas based na prepare ko na tanong is just five. So, una, um, my background, bakit ako nag-apply, saan ko nalaman na may hiring, tapos, ano ang gagawin ko if hindi nakikinig yung estudyante, at saka, meron ba akong background in teaching? So, that's it, guys. I hope na meron kayong natutunan, and yung payo ko lang talaga is, or yung tip ko talaga is, be confident with your answer, especially when you're trying to speak in English. Kasi, ina-assess lang nila if marunong ba talaga tayong mag-English. Kasi nga, we are English teachers, okay? So, that's it. Bye!